If you want to know how you can improve your mixes and masters in a simple, straightforward way and get into the ballpark of your favorite artist's tracks in a technical manner, right? Uh, this video is perfectly for you because in this week's video, I'm showing you one simple tool that you can use to draw a target tonal curve, you know, that um, you can draw from your favorite tracks without actually downloading a file. It's not recorded, you know, it's all legal and whatnot. And um, I'm showing you this tool, how I like to use it to, for referencing, to give you some pointers where you need to probably work on a little bit more maybe, or where you can improve your mixing or mastering, you know. So if this sounds interesting to you, let's jump in. And I also want to mention my gift as always, if you're on this channel for some time, or if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Silvano from RuffinStudio.com and I share in weekly videos what I like to do for raw minimal tracks, micro house, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, long story short, I have a one tool Ableton Live stock plugin based uh, preset pack that you can download for free that should inspire you that should help you improve your tracks um, I have a drag and drop ready uh, EQ uh, preset that you can drag and drop on your master channel to improve your overall track to make it tighter and actually use it with maybe with this tool that I'm showing you in this week's video so yeah if you want that pack go and grab it on the link below and you get it shipped to your inbox so yeah again it's for free now also let's jump over to how you can draw tonal curves with a free wear tool from any source without uh, actually downloading reference tracks, buying reference tracks. You can use any source you like, YouTube, Bandcamp, um, previews from something like Dex or um, even Spotify, you know. You can basically use any reference that runs on your computer because it takes the, just after the sound card, you know, it takes that sound that comes out. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's, I love it, honestly. To give you some pointers where you can improve or where where, you, where are some holes in your mix or master and where you can improve it right so yeah the tool that i'm that i love to use for referencing is called audio lens it's for free from isotope and uh, yeah basically it captures the audio output from your computer and then draws a, a line out of that right so basically what i like to use is maybe some dex records right from dex uh, vinyl records and i simply use the preview and then um, go through some reference tracks right for example from ricardo villa lobos i have drawn one line and it's standalone the audio lens right so you you pop it up and then you simply play audio it can come from Bandcamp, maybe from from the browser, from YouTube, whatever you want. Basically, you can play back whatever sound source you want, right? Um, in my particular uh, example that I'm using later on in this video, I used a, a track from Liz and draw a, a line from that because the vibe was also the same, or not the same, but similar with some decent hi-hats. I can't play it. But basically you just capture listen and capture the sound right and then it's listening right now and then you can save the target curve so it's listening right now and you let it run for eight seconds at least and then it draws a nicely target curve based on dynamics equalization uh, stereo width then you simply save it now the next step is really to play your track your Ableton session maybe so let's do that now we you can get far with just audio lens you know to get to to get a rough idea where you possibly could improve your mix in what um, areas maybe you know the lower mids the lows maybe the tops in my case if I compare um, my rough mix uh, to the Liz version uh, I have some decent um, top sounds listen to this just uh, for referencing so just by using the freeware tool I already get an idea where I possibly could improve my mix right without actually recording or downloading any reference tracks whatever I can jump on YouTube on decks on Bandcamp 
whatever you want um, maybe I wouldn't go to Bport because as far as I know their preview quality is pretty oh uh, yeah not so good you know it's I think it's still mono I don't know 2023 still mono preview I don't know maybe I'm wrong correct me but um, I don't buy tracks on bank no on bank camp on Bport anyway so I actually don't buy lots of tracks you know I just um yeah create and i don't actually dj at the moment so uh, i don't buy any tracks so anyway so this audio lens freeware tool gives us an idea where to work on and in my case i need to work on compared to this um, list reference on my uh, top end you know on my highs and sometimes you maybe find that you're your uh, low end is way too heavy you know and this is this gives you a great idea where you where the ballpark is but also the vibe determines a lot you know so for example uh, if i pull up audio lens again versus a villa lobos track he has almost no top end but also the the vibe of the track doesn't contains lots of decent hi-hats you know it's more percussive short um kind of organic like we new from like we know from uh, Villa Lobos right um, so if I compare apples to pears then it's not gonna work it I think the track needs to have a different kind of vibe and I found that this this track specifically has a similar vibe because of the decent kind of 909 hats that I have in this project here maybe so how do we actually tackle this ozone 11 is it says uh, it's only working with Ableton 11, but uh, I tried it out and actually it works with Ableton 10 as well. Um, and I'm currently in trial mode, so talking about the, the top end. What I did was basically just um, make a really hard cut. It's almost, I think it's a brick wall cut, you know, with, a, with an EQ. So you see if I just um, take out this brick wall, brick wall uh, EQ around 16k, um, it's way over the top compared to the list track, you know, um, based on the tonal balance um, um, target here that we have, right? So, and I found as well, you know, after listening to this track, the, the top end is quite too harsh in my opinion. So uh, I think that brick wall EQ around that uh, range does a good job. And I think it also tightens up the low end a little bit. But um, just to show you how you can also use um, this audio lens to get with Ozone 11. It's pretty straightforward because, um, um, yeah, let's start from scratch quickly and use a new instance of isotope now what we can do is really we can take that reference tracks first we need to play the track now this doesn't sound so great in my opinion but uh, what we can do now is we can take this um, targets here. So we have this target list that we created with the uh, audio lens from the list track, reference track, and now we can use the EQ to match that, you know? So this is the drastic don't like this <laughs> if 
but yeah let's tweak that a little bit maybe we have some dials here we can use Now I want to tackle those hi-hats, those, yeah, top end again with the EQ, like I did before. Simply using one at the very top end. Um, let's use the brick wall again. Don't know. Maybe also a very steep one would do it. Yeah, I mean, the brick wall, I don't know if I went to Point Blank Music School and um, what I learned there is from a mastering guy. Um, he just experimented and he didn't care, you know, if something looked weird, he just listened, you know. And uh, in my opinion, this looks really, really weird, um, probably, right? But um, I think it does the job. And here I would also make me make a little cut in the lower frequencies also a steep one maybe tighten it up a little bit maybe Just looking to take out some resonance frequency, maybe. Um, yeah, it's a. I really like the workflow of this isotope. Ozone. Sorry, I always try. I always call it isotope, but it's uh, ozone. Anyway, so yeah. Pretty quickly, you can get uh, into the ballpark of your favorite track. You know, with just um, audio lens for free, which gives you some pointers to sum things up if you don't want to spend that much money on ozone 11 i basically just downloaded downloaded it to see what it actually can do you know with this ai thing and i think yeah you decide by yourself but uh, i was just tweaking quickly some dials here as you can see and yeah in my opinion it's not too bad you know this the result it's not too bad in my opinion i like it it's i think better than before um but you decide by yourself if you like that or not and maybe test it out or yeah again if you don't have the money to spend on ozone i think audio lens is still the way to go because again just uh, reference your favorite tracks that you find on the internet on bandcamp um on vinyl on dex preview you know why not um, again it references um, different things like uh, dynamics equalization stereo width and loudness so there's no really um, audio recorded you know with audio lens it just creates a tonal balance uh, curve and then you see 
and get some pointers where you possibly can work on on your mix or maybe you find out hey i have too too uh, little low ends or maybe i have too many tops like i just found out in this example right and tweak and improve your track accordingly or maybe sometimes we just miss some elements um you know sometimes we have the feeling or at me at least i have the feeling um that i feel something is missing you know and sometimes it's an element sometimes it's some uh, frequencies uh, but mostly it's kind of an element element that adds a little bit groove for maybe some percussive stuff or background stuff you know to fill the gaps and uh, also there audio lens can help again this is for free which is really cool and you don't need to download any audio files to reference so yeah hope this was helpful hope this was uh, fun and uh, if you want something to tweak also if you want a simple um, little um, preset sound preset uh, chain that you can drag and drop on your master channel and use to improve your master and send it off or, or upload it somewhere or test it in a club then uh, this thing is included inside my Ableton Live 1 tool preset pack that you can download for free and yeah hope this was helpful thanks for your time and hope to see you next week cheers have fun experimenting <laughs>